Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and as well Pisces Rising. Weekly Tarot Reading, November 25th to December 1st, 2019. And uh, bear with me a uh, second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we can jump right into the reading. All right, so the first card that stands for the topic of your week, this is going to be the Six of Pentacles, followed by the next one, which represents the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week. That is going to be the Knight of Cups. Afterwards, what we have, it is the positive aspect of the week here, and that is going to be uh, the Seven of Pentacles. And the last one, uh, which stands for the guidance the Tarot is offering, that is going to be the Tree of, uh, the tree of Pentacles. And I think that we are still on the love wave for you. Probably the, the last week, as far as I remember, was again a love topic here. And so um, the topic itself, which is the Six of Pentacles, it's accompanied with the uh, Nine of Pentacles. Quite of an um, quite of interesting thing. So we do have a, a passive supporters. And this is what those cards are saying. While the leap of development that you do have with a specific person, either career-wise or relationship-wise, it could be very lucrative or in general, it could be very successful. You know, at that stage, it will be foolish to jump into it because there is a certain arrangements that needs to be done okay there are certain circumstances that needs to happen and it looks like that without those circumstances uh, or arrangements everything is going to be to, to, to seem forceful everything is going to seem a premature so in other words right now you can take on it is that the situation in between you and this person it's on a, a life support type of regime okay and uh, it does require a little bit more time to develop itself on its own accord before you both can actually do something. And that is very well described here with those two cards because they, what they are pointing, it is that right now everything is going with the flow and at some point the... Um, <clears throat> the leap of development either career-wise or either re re relationship-wise is going to appear on its own accord you don't have to force it you should not force it because the hierarchies are brought into bear and uh, you cannot go two steps or straight for two or three steps in this trade of one it's just it's not it's not possible here with the six of pentacles you are gonna bounce back and the bouncing back is not going to be pleasant but these two cards a confirmation that's what you are after with a specific person in your life definitely worth it all right it just needs a little bit more time to develop one more thing here it is that it needs to be a private for two of you you shouldn't bring other people into it they can only ruin it um, ruin it for you and um, uh, additionally what i can give you as in an advice here with those two cards 
take it easy, don't be way too serious about it, all right? Just try to enjoy the moment rather than to um, kind of like plan the moment if you uh, if that makes a, a sense. The other card here, it is the challenge and that will be the other person, which is the uh, Knights of Pentacles accompanied with the Seven of Swords. And that is actually a good combo in this uh, specific follow-up and position. It does point to a passive neutrals. So that person is gonna be a bit aggravated that nothing is happening in between you two, either career-wise or either relationship-wise, although I suspect that we're talking about relationship here. It is because they, um, what they do is that they do perform, okay? So that person does not allow things to happen by a chance. And as we said right now, this is exactly what you both need to do. You need to just allow the situation to develop. And as they see that they can't do anything that is going to breed results, that makes them mm, hectic, all right? That makes them a little bit irrational. And that is the worst position that you can have the Knights of Cups at, all right? acting irrational because they are very emotional people. As a matter of fact, these are people who are holding up uh, the dreams of their heart in front of themselves and they are following those dreams, determined to do whatever it takes in order to reach those dreams and they only believe into a, uh, a results uh, born by effort rather than results born by chance, okay? And so as they have done everything you could up until this moment, Okay, that is in the grand scheme of things. They may think that they can do more. You may think that they can do more, but they can't, right? According to those cards. Now, you both need to let it go. You need to let go the flow just to the flux to flow, right? And just enjoy yourself with together, probably. Now, uh, with those uh, cards here, you may kind of have those episodes in between you two where this person is kind of like a bit more aggressive in a sense of, you know, saying what is going on in between us, why things aren't developing, uh, where what I did wrong and so on and so forth. So it's, it, it will be a good po point where you will, um, where you should reassure them that you just need a little bit more time. So on a positive note here, that is going to be the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, it is accompanied by the Moon card. So we do have a passive friend. And there is only one thing to be said. It is that the decisive event, the decisive circumstances you do require, you both require, are just behind the corner. And I know it doesn't make any sense, all right? I mean, the situation that you are in right now, that comes from the moon card, but actually is for the greater good. Now, the moon card uh, in this particular position, it kind of like puts a, uh, like a shield on you and on this person, not to overkill the situation. It's like, you know, um, let's say that you are entering into a relationship and let's say the relationship, it's a, uh, it's a, a steak that you are putting on to cook. So you don't want to overcook the steak because it's gonna taste bad, all right? You don't want to overkill the relationship because it's gonna taste bad or it's gonna at least burn out very, very quickly. And you don't want to feel that you have invested way too much into it, the very, very least. So, uh, yeah, patience is a virtue here for what it seems. So um, if you need, you can take a little bit of a break. It is time to catch up your breath, all right? And just wait for that decisive event and those decisive circumstances to happen around the corner. One thing I have to... Uh, warn you here with those two cards is that you may kind of uh, have those episodes of uh, uh, exaggerated fantasies, uh, ups and downs, um, that could go both ways, what I'm trying to say. One day you may fantasize that you are going to be great into a future relationship or business with this partner. The other day you may fantasize that that partner gave up on you, uh, either business-wise or, or relationship-wise. It's just, you know, allow the flux to do its thing. And the last card here, it regards to the guidance that Taro is offering. That is going to be the Tree of Pentacles accompanied with the Six of Swords. So like I said, you have to put in an insurance. So when that person 
it is irrational or start acting irrational, start doing stupid things, you need to reassure them that things are going just they are, or just as they are supposed to go, that they are not losing you or that they are not losing the situation that you do have with it, that they have with you. And that will happen through a couple of things. First is a profound conversations, deeply meaningful conversations in between you two for what is to come in the future, only if you both are uh, wait the thing to develop on its own accord to a certain stage and through a, uh, uh, a mutual support as well. Just because you are not yet together that doesn't mean that you don't have to support each other or just because you don't, ha you don't have that uh, business together it doesn't mean that you do not have to talk and support each other as well. As a matter of fact with those two cards supporting each other is only going to improve the trust that you are going to have in between you two and maybe this is why you should not force the thing all right maybe this is uh, this is uh, uh, this is the root here that you don't have enough trust among each other to um initiate a relationship, a, a deeper relationship, or to initiate a uh, successful business together. And it looks like that you are one step closer to having this unconditional trust in between each other. So that being said, uh, Pisces, this was your weekly tarot reading, November 25th to December 1st, 2019. Hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.